Hello everyone, welcome aboard for today's video. I'll be your Captain King CK and today we'll be going ahead and starting a new series, Fairy Friday. And in this series we're going to be showcasing all sorts of cool fairies that we have built on the OIO servers. And this will range from everything from passenger only to car fairies to row row, pretty much everything in between. And so in today's video we're going to be going ahead and starting out with the one that the fairy that almost started it all, the second fairy I actually built, the first one was NV Kenwick, and in this one we'll be showing Envy Hiyu. So, to go ahead and get started here, this is one of Washington State Ferry's smallest vessels in the fleet. Uh, currently she's not in service, however, she's still under ownership of Washington State Ferries, and I was able to get a few good photos of her. Um, so a little bit of backstory on this ship. Uh, she was built in 1967 to replace uh, one of the aging wooden ferries. Um, the term Hayu is uh, the Cherokee word for large or plenty or big. Um, it was originally planned to hold 40 cars, however to this day with new size of vehicles it holds about roughly about 34 cars as their max load on that. Uh, it's about 162 feet long and its top speed is about 10 knots so it's not a very fast vessel but it's definitely a very useful vessel because it's the perfect ferry for very short range. They don't need to load up a huge ferry, it's very quick to land, very quick to load, very quick to make a turnaround. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Right here in the water I went ahead and have have uh, this one all ready for us to drive. Which we'll see if we can get a good camera angle. Unfortunately the, the cameras in, on this are a bit limited. And so we'll go ahead and... Uh, oops, that is not what we want. We'll go ahead and pop out there while it sails along. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a proper tour of this and we'll go ahead and show a side-by-side -side comparison of the old one and I actually that's what I've been doing recently is rebuilding a lot of my old ferries that I had made uh, with my new building techniques new blocks and trying to make them a little bit closer to the real world counterparts so we'll go ahead and get started right here on the le left here we have the older MV Hiyu and this one was I believe it was my second boat that I had made uh, for OIO once we had officially announced the OIO project. Me and Chris had originally made MV Kenwick, which you guys will see next week. Actually, I believe the week after, next week will be MV Walla Walla. So we went ahead and built this one. It was one of the, the second ferry, or ferry slash boats that I had made for the server. And at the time, it was very <laughs> cool to see and very cool to do. No one had done something like this before. However, it did not age well at all. Originally we had built the boats without bow or hulls for the sake of the boats mod that would uh, essentially, if you put a hull on it, it would float it up to the very bottom block so you'd see the hull floating essentially on a block, whereas the new mod does support hulls. Um, so we we're able to build ships properly on a one-to-one -one full scale with everything that's included on the ship. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the new one here. As you can see here, I utilized quartz quite a bit to make half slabs. I um, went ahead and followed the height dimensions exactly to a T. I followed them on width too. A lot of times what I would do is I try to make it bigger just because in Minecraft it's a bit awkward when you make it this kind of smaller size. However, I feel that it turned out a lot better keeping to the height dimensions of the actual vessel and definitely turned out a lot closer to the original. And as you can see here on this one we actually went ahead and made a hole. <laughs> and uh, went ahead and made the little rope area where they drag the rope across, put a little pin in the middle uh, to prevent cars from rolling off the deck. Put some life preservers up here which were which are in our, our texture pack and we'll go ahead and take the stairs up. On the real ship there is a staircase however on this one we had to put a ladder in just because of size constraints and when you're building one meter wide you can't really put another wall in so unfortunately that was our, uh, our biggest constraint. Sorry about that. Uh, some of our crew members are out at the uh, NASCAR race today, so they're messaging me up. Uh, in here is the bathroom that we actually went ahead and put on this one. Actual proper, proper seating. I went ahead and watched some videos, and it was pretty hard, difficult to find uh, coverage of what the interior looked like, just because it's such a small ferry. Uh, and the only time I've personally seen it was from the deck of another ferry as we were leaving port. And so we'll go ahead and go up this way here. There was another staircase here. Go up to the top region, a little lifeboat area. Now on the current version of the Hiyu, it does have a lifeboat to comply with, uh, I believe it is Solos standard C something on board life something. It's a Coast Guard standard saying that all boats must have the following amount of lifeboats, must have the following amount, amount of equipment for evacuation. So on the, on the modern one, they actually have a huge chunk of this um, second passenger deck missing where a lifeboat would go 
And I decided to leave that out just because I prefer the original look of the boat when it was built in 1967 when it just it had a better look to it when it it didn't have this weird lifeboat raft strapped to the side of it to comply with the uh, Coast Guard demands. So up here I made the bridge. Um, once again, there really isn't a whole lot of photos I could find for her, so I pretty much just made two sets of controls on each side, forward throttles up on the top there. There are the throttles, little engine controls over here. And then we'll go back through onto the other passenger deck. And once again, it's kind of similar, not quite all the way the same, um, but for the most part pretty similar. This side doesn't have a restroom on it just because I decided to do this one a little bit differently and to make room for kind of like the uh, vending machines, if you will. And we'll go ahead and finish by going down here to the car deck. Once again, the ferry can hold about roughly 34 cars of today's modern cars because once again, the car or the ferry was built in 1967 where the standard for cars were not as long as they currently are right now. <laughs> now much, the cars are much, much longer and they have to be much more aware of that while working on the, uh, the boat. And then right up here, you have the nameplate for the vessel, uh, the twin smokestacks on either side of the ship. And yeah, that's pretty much a majority of the that I can show you guys for the uh, Hiyu. If you guys have any questions about the build or about any of the other Washington State ferries, feel free to leave a comment below. If you guys have any suggestions what type of ferries you'd love to see for some of these other Ferry Friday videos, I would love to know. I'm starting to build the schedule for July. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I got some announcement videos coming out about the new filming schedule, and I have some announcement videos about the new boats coming in that we are currently working on, and a very, very huge announcement for all of you guys who are big fans of the old server. Um, that announcement will be coming out later today, uh, and that'll be a pretty hefty video, oh, and it won't be as scripted as this one. So other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys enjoyed traveling with us today at OIO.